pretty doors. It's really cool in that area. You don't want to leave that area. It's really... Yeah, like the lobby. Yeah, the TVs everywhere. And- kind of like the principal's office vibe a little bit. Like when people get stuck in the lobby, they're sitting out there. It looks like they're waiting to get suspended. Uh, but it's, a, it's a cool lobby, though. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> and we haven't trashed the studio yet, so it it's still nice. looks and smells good. Mm-hmm. It's like which- air traffic control in here. So. Yeah. <laughs> now, that was one of the first things I want to talk to you guys about because I started on the air in 97, and you guys both released your debut albums with your respective projects at the time, Creed for you, Mark, and obviously Seven Dust for you, Lejean. And radio, music, everything was so different. Mm-hmm. If you had told us 22 years ago that we'd be sitting in, like, it looks like the Starship Enterprise in here, and that you'd both still be on the road touring, making music, it doesn't seem possible, right? No, no, not at it's, all. It's, it's crazy. Uh, I, 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 I can't believe it. I to sit with Mark and to be on tour with him. I still remember when we had the Creed album and we met you guys and we, we've grown up together. So it's really amazing to be able to to, 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 to be on tour together still 20-something years later. It's a, it's a blessing. Yeah, you guys are all playing the House of Blues tonight. Yes. So if people are looking for something to do tonight, especially Valentine's Day, you can save face and say, oh, babe, I bought these tickets a long time ago. I'm taking you to the House of Blues tonight. So you go to WAF.com and get the details on the shows and everything. But it's awesome to have you back in town. I haven't seen both of you in a long time. Yes. And now it seems like all of these tours with all of these bands, like touring together, you go, oh, yeah, it's just like it's always been, right? It's just a family affair. The uh, the the Valentine's Day thing uh, has got to be hard when you're on the road because the pressure when your wives aren't touring with you has got to be a little bit tougher with you not being home, right? Yeah, Did you screw yeah. up Valentine's Day or are you are you guys okay? I, I'm, you know, my my secret this year was to get my 13 year old son to uh, write a little note to, to my wife and ask her to be his Valentine since I wasn't going to be there. Oh, take, nice cover, Dad. Take her, yes, take one. her to dinner and pay for it. So I, I, I got my basis covered. That was good. That was good. I, when I FaceTimed this morning and said happy Valentine's. You did? I have to also remember that my wife was just with me on Ship Rocked. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. You know, yeah, I'm nice. still <laughs> amazed that they have a rock show out in the middle of the ocean on a boat. It just seems like a bad idea. Oh, no. it's, it's a great idea. It's the it's... best time ever. Really? Oh, I haven't been yet. Maybe next time I'll go. Yeah, I recommend it to anyone to at least try it once, try it once cuz it's a it's definitely a blast, you know, you think about at any time of the day or at night, you can go see one of your favorite bands and, you know, a lot of times for us We don't get to see these bands because we're always on tour. So, you know, you get us all together and we have a blast. Yeah, but is it safe to have that much booze on a boat and be out in the middle of nowhere with all those rock bands? Like, somebody's bound to fall overboard, right? Not not if you're about to run a marathon. You don't want to go on ship rock before a marathon. Yeah. If you're in training season. We I have 60 (laughs) days to get ready for the marathon. And, and I got to thank uh, McDonald's because they sent me my Valentine's Day gift, their cheesy bacon fries. <laughs> and I was like, I can eat these and just tell people I'm carving up for the marathon, right? right? Is that what's going on with the two big bags of McDonald's? Yeah. In the lobby? Uh, yeah. See, so good. Yeah, I got, I got them over here. You want some? Oh, They're no, delicious. You eat them right now. <laughs> well, yeah, they <laughs> sent me cheese and bake, cheesy bacon fries. I have to eat this them. This is really happening. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in marathon training, Lejean. I have to yeah, carve what are up. These, I had, what are these cheesy bacon fries? They're McDonald's French fries piping hot with melted <laughs> cheese and bacon bits on them. Hot. They're oh, delicious. Come on. Come on. <laughs> they handed them to me, and I was going to burn my mouth or, or get how scalded. How long they stay piping hot? You know what? Long enough for me to stick them in my face. That's how long. That's how long. Oh, right. oh, well, you guys are going to hang with me for a while, right? Yeah. All right, so one of the first things I want to do, uh, Mark, I want to talk about Tremonti because you guys are, um, how many bands are playing tonight? It's like four or five? Five bands. That's five. It's wow. crazy. Mm-hmm. Wow. And yeah, wow. this is your third project, right? Because mm-hmm. you had Creed and then Alter Bridge. And when you can't keep Miles Kennedy locked in the basement yeah. long enough to record music because he's out running around with Slash, you have Tremonti. So tell me about this project. Um, I started this seven years ago um, on my fourth record now. Um, it was uh, it was actually when um, Miles was doing a three-month tour with Slash. I was like, you know what? I got all these songs that aren't really uh, suited for Alter Bridge, so I recorded some songs with, with my buddy Eric. And uh, once we got in the studio, we're like, you know, this sounds good. Let's, let's go out and tour it. And we've just kind of we've been doing it ever since. All right, we're going to play um, Throw Them to the Lions right now, and then you guys are going to hang out with me, right? Maybe yeah. I'll even uh, share my French fries with you. <laughs> this is Tremonti, Throw Them to the Lions. It's WAF.
That's Seven Dust, Risen, uh, Lejean from Seven Dust here in the studio with me, as is Mark Tremonti from Tremonti, who are both playing at the House of Blues. We were talking uh, while we were playing that song, actually, about about uh, all of the amazing bands that you guys have toured with over the years because there's a lot of bands that are playing with you guys tonight that are these up-and-coming younger bands. Right. And even though you guys have been out for 22 years in one project or another, you know, you talk about touring with bands like Iron Maiden, and it's like, oh, my God, that's Bruce Dickinson that you see in the hallway every night. It's just got to be crazy. Yeah, that was that <laughs> was the most amazing tour I've ever done. You know, it was... Um, you know, being able to say up next is Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do, I do the same thing with Seven Dust. I go, who's up next? Iron. Iron. You know, it's just easy, easy, easy way to get the, the crowd shouting. But it was, it was, that was my first concert ever with Iron Maiden. So being was it really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So it was, uh, was, that was your was first surreal. concert ever. Ever. Mine was Lionel Richie, not as cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I mean, it was a good show. Sheila E. opened up for him, oh, so it was great, fantastic great. drum solo. Yeah, what about you, LJ? Who was your first oh, concert? Man, wow. I can remember at something like uh, a new edition, Bobby Brown. Well, you're in that hometown. I'll, I'll be sure. Uh, concert. I think that was at the Municipal Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. I remember uh, going to that. Did you realize or could you even have grasped the concept that Nashville would become kind of the second hub of rock and roll? Not back it's then. It's so weird not, now. Not back then, but Nashville is hopping down there. It's love crazy. Nashville. We love it. Yeah, and growing up there was was great, but now going back as an adult and taking my family, we have a great time. We always stop and stay in Nashville. And everybody thinks that it's just a country town, but it's no, no, not. No, it's no, a no, rock no. city it's now awesome. as well. Mm-hmm. There's a musician. There's a, I mean better guitar player on every block as you, yeah. as you walk it's just everywhere the it's musicians are, are mm-hmm. insane yeah it's kind of like um like new orleans that the live music scene it doesn't matter if it's a monday at four in the afternoon you can find a place to go see original live music and That's songwriters cool. the whole community of it, it doesn't yeah. matter we just uh, the family we, we did three shows in atlanta for new year's and we always stop in nashville and uh, the hotel we were at in the lobby starting at Two o'clock in the afternoon, music from two until midnight, and a, and a great artist, you know, yeah. guy playing acoustic guitar, and just you, you're mesmerized. You know, guess we're gonna have dinner tonight here because this guy's rocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking like of Atlanta, LJ, I gotta ask you: um, Could you even tell people when you were home in Atlanta that you were coming to Boston, or do they just really, really hate us right now? Uh, well, you know, I don't. I hadn't lived in Atlanta, and I know, but you were there yeah. playing the show. Is like. I mean, the hate between the Super Bowl a couple years ago yeah. and then this past one, like, they, it's got to be strong down there for yeah, us right now, everywhere. right? It's strong everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Kansas now, and it's strong there. <laughs> it's, it's strong everywhere. But, no, congratulations. You yeah, know, it's... You know? I mean, it's crazy. Uh, I wish the Chiefs would have been there. You know, uh, Falcons on bottom, but... Uh, I'm I'm, st- I'm just a fan of it all. <laughs> it's been a little, Mark. Do do you have loyalty to, to a certain Florida team? Because that's what you're still living in Florida, right? You no, know, I follow. I, I live in Florida. We don't really have. I mean, the Bucks are the closest team, but <laughs> um, you know, my uh, my kids wanted the Chiefs to win this year. Mm-hmm. After that, you know, I wanted the Patriots to win. I I want to be the I want to be alive during the time 100 years from now when everybody's like the best f- football team of all time, time was yeah. now. You know, I yeah. think they're they're gonna be one of those. Mm-hmm, definitely. That's it's funny that the memes they make that they're like, you know, it, it, the earth has been around for billions of years and you were lucky enough to be around in the time of Tom Brady. Like, that's oh. how <laughs> ridiculous we all are. I lived in Chicago for the Big Bulls yeah. empire and it's 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 good to kind of witness mm-hmm. this go down. Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't happen very often. Oh, right. And we know how to throw one hell of a parade. Oh, yeah, I watched oh, yeah. it. It was crazy. <laughs> it's an excuse for us to day drink. And, you know, to be working while we're doing it, like the bosses kind of look the other way because you're like, well, we're at a duck boat parade, dude. Like, it's kind of how it happens, you know? And we're getting ready for the Boston trifecta, which, you know. I like the the way you say trifecta. Yeah, it's the Boston trifecta. So it's (laughs) St. Patrick's Day. And then it's opening day for the Red Sox and then Marathon Monday. Like, those are the three uh, official drinking days of the city. So. Hurting, hurting, hurting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get to drink for two of them, and then I got to run on the third one. Wow. They should, so, they should make the marathon first. <laughs> yeah. and drink and party. Afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if they move it before St. Patrick's Day, you could be running in a full-blown blizzard. Because you guys are actually very brave for wanting to tour up here in February. Uh, we were told that it was going to be over 17 inches by the time we got to this show tonight and girls possibly, get told it's over 17 inches all the time Lejean, and it's never the truth whoa <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I think I just got pregnant a little bit. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> but it's been weird. Like yeah. the other day, the, the day of the, the the Patriots duck boat parade, it was almost 70 degrees. Oh, wow. Mother Nature's obviously a yeah, Patriots fan. Exactly. It has the huts for Tom Brady. Oh. <laughs> Plus, we got Gronk to take his shirt off. That's funny. Oh, we were in uh, Baltimore the other night, and uh, it started snowing on us, and then we ended up in uh, – Long Island or somewhere in New York, Woodsbury, and we got dumped on for two days. And so, uh, we, and after being on, where were we at in Cozumel and mm-hmm. the Yucatan and in Florida? Yeah, because you were on the cruise that yeah. we were talking about earlier. We, were, we played Florida. Oh, it was beautiful. And I mean, it's still beautiful out here, but the snow has just kind of weirded me out. We've gotten kind of <laughs> lucky on this tour, though. For a winter tour, it's been yeah, yeah. it's been pretty nice. That, mm-hmm. You know, don't really have a warm jacket. Yeah, me either. Yeah, didn't pack, yeah, didn't pack that either. All right. Well, don't you My have people boots? for that? Yeah, like, no. isn't yeah. that one of the good things about being on tour is that, like, you have somebody to, like, go and get that stuff for you? And not anymore. Really? You know, like, maybe back in the early Creed days, but now, <laughs> go get me a winter jacket. What? Yeah, Screw what you yourself. Go get your own <laughs> damn winter jacket. Coat, <laughs> broke the coat factory's like three blocks away, dude. Good luck. Who do you think I am? <laughs> now, it, it, it correct me if I'm wrong, but that first Creed record is, is one of the only albums that's ever been certified platinum. I mean, a diamond, right? Over ten million. Uh, the Human Clay record did. Oh, um, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of the other records might, ha- I don't know, might have been approaching it, but uh, Human Clay in, in its heyday went went diamond, which is crazy. Yeah. Do you have how big is the plaque? I mean, you know, it's it's a it's a crystal. It's like yes, the, it's it. uh it's about this it's foot tall. Um, but when uh, back in the day, I had um, somebody was was cleaning our our family room and knocked it over and shattered it oh <gasps> no way yeah, really yeah so what happens do you get it replaced i i i got another I, they sent an extra one to our management office thank god and i got the the last one but uh but the girl broke it was just heartbroken she never came back and i tried to explain it's just it's just a it's no she's, big deal she's probably still a little weirded out right now <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not, she's not right <laughs> it's a piece of glass Glass, glass breaks. But you, <laughs> like, way to look at it, we were talking about redecorating the AF studio and about like getting a pinball machine or some here because yes. Iron Maiden not only they have mm-hmm. a beer but they have their own pinball machines. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the kind of rock and roll stuff you guys want to have in your house, right? They're like, living the, they're leaving my okay. dream. I'm a pinball fanatic. Yes, we don't have video games in my bar at my house. So, yeah, we we we're big kids. <laughs> what else is in the bar? Because it's called Man Town here at WAF. So what else well, is in the well, Man Town? I didn't know it was called Man Town yes. because I call myself a mantiquer. Oh. <laughs> so I have, a lot, I have a lot of antiques in my bar Man-tiquer. and uh, a lot of things that make my wife weird out, you know. But uh, it's my bar and it's fun in there, you know. So I collect weird things. I, uh, it's all kind of stuff. You name it, it's in there. From helmets, from the 19th century to, you know, just anything that I can find that's weird and an oddity. Well, you guys are going to hang out with me for a bit, right? Yeah. All right, so you guys are going to hang out. we got Mark Tremonti and LeJean Witherspoon here in the AF studio. Maybe. People are texting in to 97107 if you got questions. It's Valentine's Day, and we were talking about Iron Maiden, so I suppose I should just probably play some. It's WAF. So I got LeJean from Seven Dust and Mark Tremonti from Tremonti and Alter Bridge and Creed here in the WAF studio with me, and you were just having a way-back moment, Mark, yeah, listening man. to that. Yeah. I had to get some Creed on. We were talking about it earlier. I can't believe it's been 22 years. It's been a great, long, long great. time. Yeah, I feel like I was a kid when that, <laughs> that song, when I was recording that song in the studio, I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> it just hit you. <laughs> and you guys were just talking about, like, the first tour that you did together. Mm-hmm. And LJ, you were like, yeah, I remember when you got your first tour bus. Yeah, we've known mm-hmm. each other that's, for a long time. That's, <laughs> that's got to be one of the things when you know you kind of made it, right? Yeah. That you don't have to be in the van or the RV anymore, well, that they pull up. Think, you think you yes, yeah, like that's the dream. That's a rock and that roll was a dream. Big big moment. <laughs> yes, it I have my own bed. <laughs> and it was probably the worst bus you've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, but exactly. But you you want to constantly it. stay on it. Yeah, it's like oh, oh, yeah. this is it, man. Do you want to know who had the bus before you or not? Because I feel like I wouldn't want to know. That that bus we had had to been twenty years old. So <laughs> it had to been uh, I don't know, Molly ha- Molly Hatchet, Leonard Skinner. I don't know, who knows? It's like going into an old motel room with a black light. You yes, just don't want to no. do it. You're like, I know some weird things happened in here, but I don't even want to talk about it right now. You know, when you're young, you don't care. You, know, you get older and you, you care a little more. But you start then, thinking about germs. Yeah, you don't yeah. care about germs in no, your twenties. No, 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 we don't even. We didn't know what Lysol was. But, you know. <laughs> Guess what? There's a can of it right beside me in the back lounge continuously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, now, you know, when when you're first starting out, you don't have the pressures 
of meeting your own expectation. Mm -hmm. Now you guys have to compete against your former selves when it comes to quality of shows and all that. And you're crammed in these buses. You can't afford to get sneezed on. No, no, and if somebody on the bus starts sneezing, you gotta you gotta get rid of them. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it goes. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. To realize you gotta get rid of them. Get open that door and kick them out. Now, Let's twenty go. years ago, you'd be like, "Dude, you're laying in your own puke. I don't uh, care." Oh, and you step I, in oh. and you don't care. And now yeah. you're like, "Don't sneeze on me, bro." Yeah, no, you can't cancel shows. But uh, if you're the singer, you gotta stay away from that yeah, that nonsense. Try to stay healthy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you were even listening to Scott's voice like twenty two years ago, just mm. in the way I know what I, my my voice sounded like 20 years ago when I started on mm. the air. I sounded like I was sucking helium. Yeah. <laughs> and now I sound like I've gone through puberty six times over because it's so much deeper than it was. Uh-huh. It's just strong. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> it's got more character. There you go. <laughs> and I look at all of the old pictures, you know, all of the shows that, that we've all been at together mm. and all of the old memories. Do you guys have like an old AAF memory that kind of sticks with you? Because we've done some really dumb things, speaking of bodily fluids, like... Well, I remember, uh, was it the baseball game? Oh, the softball the so- game. Yeah, the softball game against us in Godsmack. Yeah. Or something like that. yeah I remember that. That was at Lasher yeah. Park in I remember. Lowell. I remember uh, paintball with you guys. Uh, we've done so many things over the years. Do you remember when you took the tour bus from OzFest and, and uh, Dez from Cold Chamber and Joey Z from Life of Agony? You guys left OzFest with like half the bar oh, yeah, from backstage yeah, yes, and wow. kicked the that? door into the WAF studio at like 10.30 at night. Yes, I remember that. Wow. I still talk that's to rock and roll. Yeah, that's rock and roll. That was the days. Yeah. Those days are long gone. Well, that was pre... <laughs> My wife would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What? That was pre-Janet Jackson boob at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, wow. You could get away with a lot more stuff before yes, that yes. boob came out than yeah. you could now. <laughs> what about you, Mark? Because we did that awesome uh, rooftop pool yeah. party with Creed. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we've done a ton of stuff with Alter Bridge, which, by the way, what's going on with Alter Bridge? Can you give Alter me the dirt Bridge, on that? As soon as this tour is over, I'm hitting the studio. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'm writing demos. I have uh, Eric, who's in my band now, brought his whole big studio on the in the back lounge, so I'm recording demos for that now. And... Uh, yeah, we'll hit the ground running. Remember when there used to be parties on the back lounge? No, and now it's Alter, just... Hopefully Alter Ridge takes seven us out. There we go. That will be awesome. Yeah. We always, we've talked about this for years, and mm-hmm. it's never happened, but we talked about doing Alter Bridge and Seven Dust and Tremonti and, and, and Projected, all, mm-hmm. all the bands, all, all the right, bands yeah. that we've mm-hmm. all been a part of and mm-hmm. do a big family tour because we're, we we're, all, we're all one big family. We've yeah. known each other for so long. And, you know, even see if we get Slash on that tour, have oh, every wow. band that has anything to do with... Any of us. Yeah, that'd yeah, be that, great. That'd be a great run. You know, that guy that said he'd never get back with his old band? Yes. Yeah. Touring and then, the world <laughs> continuously. I said the same thing, but you know, you never know. Well, that's that's what I was going to ask you, that, yeah. you know, you leave a big, giant, successful band like Guns N' Roses, or in your case, Creed, and the first thing that people like me have to ask you, because the people listening want to know, are you ever going to get back together? I know it yeah. drove Slash crazy to have to mm-hmm. answer the freaking question. But it's always been my theory that, you know, if you get offered enough money that you can be on stage with somebody you hate and still deal with it, right? And beyond the money thing, it's just, you know, you're, you're, you've created something so special, obviously, to the world that, that you want to get out there and, and relive it again. And Guns N' Roses was, Appetite record was one of the greatest records ever. And, and to never ever play that again live would just be a shame. Speaking of another album that went diamond. Yeah like yeah. Human Clay did. It's like the list of, of albums that have gone diamond is pretty short. It's kind of crazy that one of your albums, you know, that you can look at it next to an album you love so much, like Appetite for Destruction, yeah. in the same uh, kind of category. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's humbling, you know, when you see that, that, to see the company that, that, that you're in in that, in that regard, you know. It's, you both have 22-year professional music careers. From the time where you recorded your first albums with the, with the bands that made you famous... After all this time, are there artists that you still haven't toured with, artists that you haven't met yet? Who, like, have you lost your mind at the idea of even getting to meet them at this point? Is there anybody left? Um, At this point, I've pretty much met um, all my heroes. Um, Who's on the list? uh, Metallica. Still, whenever I meet those guys, uh, I turn into a kid. (laughs) I don't don't know what to say. Um, (laughs) You know, like uh, Megadeth, the guys from Megadeth. Um, Ellison's such a good guy. I get to see oh, him I love you. He's, he's, yeah, he's awesome. I'm he's doing a, a, a spot on his solo record coming up. Here. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's, that's gonna be yeah, and isn't Megadeth working on a new album themselves as well? Uh, I heard Dave Mustaine talking about a new I Megadeth think record. Done. I think yeah. it's already recorded. No, there's there's a new song out that's absolutely stomps. Mm-hmm. It's, it's yeah, I've heard it. Killer. We listened to it the other day. It's great. They're, they're, uh, they're new drummers out of this world. He's, he's the drummer from Soul Work. 
Yeah. But uh, it's it's awesome so far. What about you, LJ? Uh, you know, uh, there's there's st- you know I could tell. You, uh, let's see. Uh, I was really amazed this, at the 58 Grammys when we were there, and uh, me and my wife were sitting a couple rows behind Stevie Wonder. So I was like, I'm I'm done. You know? <laughs> it's cool. Calm and shook my hand. Was like, Hey, what's up, man? Remember me? I was like, Yeah. What's going on? That, you know, that, that, that's was that cool. the year that he opened up the the results of who won the Grammy and went to read it, yes, and everybody gasped, and he like was in on the joke? Yeah, that's what I said. I knew he, I knew he could see. That's why I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't, that's why I didn't throw my napkin at him because I was like, he wouldn't be able to see me, but he might be able to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, you just don't want to know. No, that, yeah, that was when I got to sit beside Stevie Wonder and that close. That was really cool. Well, I I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me today. It's, it's been really cool. You. Like I know it's so good to see you guys and you kind of go great. down you memory sound lane. Great. Thank you. The new digs are uh, yeah, they don't good. suck, right? Oh. Good, you're doing good. Dog. It's like getting a new tour bus. Like there's nothing yes. disgusting in here yes. yet, but <laughs> I still wouldn't come in here with a black light just in case. You got your fries back there. What those things are called again? Yeah, the cheesy bacon fries from McDonald's. Yeah, they're they're not as warm anymore, That's but they're thing. probably still delicious. That's a new thing. Yeah, they sent them to me for Valentine's Day I mean, because the ba- the box. The bags are really big. Yeah, they sent a lot. Okay. Like everybody was kind of. You want the fries, don't you? No, I don't like are the you cheesy sure? bacon fries. If they had like a, a Big Mac or a fish fillet with cheese, extra sauce, they'll probably put some bacon on that too. Say. You're gonna have people. You're gonna have people showing up to the show. Every other fan is gonna have a Taco Bell, one bean burrito, loaded <laughs> potato griller, add beef, two sides of sour cream. You're not fire still sauce eating that oh, on the road, aren't you? I not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. That's when you started talking about McDonald's. I just started thinking about other things that are bad. <laughs> Remember back in the day when I used to talk about your abs and how I wanted to eat Thanksgiving dinner off of them? You never let me do that. that. Uh, that's, uh, you never let me do that. Uh, do some sit-ups. Let's go have lunch. Oh, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Tremonti, LeJean Witherspoon tonight, House of Blues. Thank you guys for coming up. Love I really you. appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. It.